Hi, welcome to the tiny tropical garden. In this video, I'm going to show you how to propagate plants using tip cuttings. Today, I'm going to be taking cuttings from this shrub. It's a Grisselenia littoralis variegata, which is a great evergreen shrub, especially if you live near the coast. To select your material, find a healthy non-flowering shoot and cut about a 10 cm length back to just above a node on the plant. The nodes are the swollen part of the stem where new leaves or new side shoots emerge from. With that successfully done, it's time to prepare our cutting material. Here's the shoot we've just cut from the parent plant. The trick with all cutting material is to reduce the amount of water the plant's going to lose before it's established a good root system. So the first way we're going to do this is by removing all of the lower leaves. First it will stop these leaves rotting if they come into contact with the soil. And secondly, with fewer leaves the plant can transpire less, which is the process in which water leaves the plant through the leaf surface. That said, you don't want to remove all of the leaves because the plant still needs some leaves to produce food through the process of photosynthesis. And this tiny cutting will then use the food it produces through photosynthesis to fuel the growth of new leaves and new roots. Next thing we're going to do for our propagation material is to cut it to just below a node. We do this because nodes are areas of the stem that have a high concentration of growth hormones and this will encourage new root formation. And with that done, we have our cutting material at its final length, almost ready for sticking into compost. But another final step to reduce water loss is cutting the final remaining leaves in half. This doesn't have to be done with every plant. It's normally done on plants with larger leaf surfaces, but it's just a good way to reduce the amount of water loss but allowing the plant to have enough leaf surface to photosynthesize. And there you are, our fully prepared plant cutting material. I'm reusing a cleaned old plastic pot and you want to clean it just to make sure it's not harboring any pests or diseases. Fill the pots with multi-purpose compost, firm it down and then using a clean stick just prepare a hole for the cutting to be inserted into the soil. By inserting a good amount of stem into the soil, you're promoting more opportunities for root growth because of the multiple nodes that have been pushed into the soil. And then again, I just gently firm the soil around the cutting just to make sure it has good contact with the compost. And then water the pot well. This will help remove the air pockets in the soil that are stopping the contact with the new cutting material and it will also help retain moisture and humidity and then cover your pot or put it into a covered heated propagator. I'm using an old lunchbox, but you can use a plastic bag. We're just trying to retain some humidity because the cutting hasn't formed any new roots yet to uptake its own water. And that's it. In four to six weeks, your cutting material will have formed roots. And that's it. Once you've mastered the art of tip cutting, you'll be looking around the rest of your garden, trying to find other plants that you can propagate. And before long, you'll have your own jungle that you've grown from plants propagated by yourself. Thank you so much for watching and hit subscribe if you want more videos like this.